Hey, I'm uh, Bo Vescio from Vescio's Customizing up in Rogers, Minnesota. Uh, we're out here at the 2019 SEMA show with our uh, 63 Juice 2 uh, Nova uh, that we're showing with Whistler products out here. We built this car six years ago, and then uh, as we decided to put it in the, in the 2019 SEMA show, uh, in the last two months, we crisped up the car, uh, got the body line straighter, gaps better, uh, did a did a full color change and a, and a, just revived the car. Uh, now we're now we're set to run it in a new whole series of shows. A couple things that we did to the car: the uh, front headlight rings never fit real good on these cars. So as we decided to delete out all the the chrome, we uh, custom fit them. You know, body worked them right to the body so they fit nice and tight. Added the Kindig uh, door handles, which are super cool just gives it that nice smooth look without getting locked out of the car we did a cool thing with the exhaust ran it through the back quarters so we had to make a little pocket and then we've got a flex tube that hooks up there we machined out a neat billet little exhaust port I cerakoted those with a custom color to match the shots wheels it's got a nice mini tub and a rolled inner quarter if you go under there's no lip in the back it just goes right around smooth into the wheel tub when we first did the car, it had a 350 small block in there, and it was running pretty good, so we just cleaned it up, painted it, put a new intake and carb on it. The guy does a lot of driving. This thing's got about 7,000 miles on it. Had a four-speed, and uh, eventually that motor went, so we decided to put a GM uh, 340 horse LS3 in there. Once we pop that in there, then the thing just drives like a dream. He drives it all the time. That's why it's got so many miles on it. For exhaust, it's a Magnaflow kit. Uh, the U-bends and mufflers that we custom tuck it all in there ourselves so it's nice and tight, sounds great. Out back we've got a uh, Curry 9 inch 373 gears that uh, power those big old Schatz wheels back there. 19s and 18 uh, Schatz wheels with Michelin rubber on there. Uh, those are brand new, they were, they were drawn into the rendering and we just thought they looked so cool, we had to figure out what they were and that's what we put on there. So on those wheels, as they came in, kind of burnt orange that, they're, that they have on them, we called shots and they said it was a Cerakote. That's where we end up coating our uh, exhaust ports, we did the mirrors, trying to eliminate as uh, much of the um, polished and any chrome parts as we could. So even though we've uh, revamped the car, that's still the interior from originally. A company out by us, uh, Premier Upholstery did it. It's all custom, original seats, uh, Mercedes dark brown cloth top. But the dash, we smoothed all the way across to give it the same shape, and then uh, sucked in uh, tubing to set in the uh, classic instruments gauges that we got in the car. So when we started this project, it was gonna be way more mellow than it always uh, turns out to be. Uh, one of the guys in the shop mentioned to the customer that thing would be pretty cool laid out on the ground. That sparked a whole deal to uh, put a complete suspension in it. And what it had in it, it had too much sway, you get too many people in the car, it just tires rubbing all the time. So we uh, started looking around and we found the best setup is TCI suspension, front and rear, Ride Tech airbags. They got an AccuAir system that runs all that. And uh, like I say, this thing's got a lot of miles on it and it never fails. Controlling the air ride on here is AccuAir's e-ride system. You know, one touch button, up, down, three levels, and then full control otherwise. Work, works really good. So this, this car looks pretty cool and it, you know, standing here looks like a showpiece. And you know, to some aspects it is, but it's got uh, uh, a lot of miles, a lot of use. The owner has a uh, cabin up north that's a couple hundred miles away and he drives it often up there on the dirt roads, little local car shows there. You know, he hops in with the top down and he never has any trouble with it. Um, you know, even with the air ride, you know, he's got great control to get on the iffy roads or just be straight on the freeway and, and it, it rides extremely nice. As we uh, upgraded the motor to the LS3, we had to switch out, upgrade with the Willwood 12-inch four-piston calipers, which uh, made a night and day difference controlling this thing. So at our shop, we started out doing a ton of paint and body work, custom paint. Uh, we painted this whole thing. Uh, in our time crunch, we decided to have a, a good buddy of mine at Blackfire Creative laid all the vinyl stripes on there, which just came out perfect. The color match to our brown with uh, what they had, their, their 3M film. They also wrapped all the chrome around the windshield and the top of the trim around the, 
around the convertible and the door tops. Saved us a bunch of time, powder coating and all that. So a big shout out to those guys. So now that we've got it out at the show here at SEMA 2019, we're going to uh, upgrade the interior a little bit. We're going to keep showing this car and keep driving this car. It's kind of nice to, to revamp and, and uh, renew these cars that have been done a little while. It gives them a whole nother uh, burst of energy and you're excited to show them again. Yeah, we would just like to thank Wendy Taylor and Whistler Group. We've showed with them for a couple years now. A lot of fun, real easy to work with. We get a good spot. It's, it's fun to work with different people in any level of industry, whether it's the parts or the labor or uh, you know just partnerships that you make along the way.